Real quick before I start the video, I just wanted to give a shout out to Corgi Queen or Wolfden Dragon, whatever she prefers to be for, be called by a Twitter, or whatever. But she's the artist who drew this piece of art for me. It's the new cover for my YouTube image. I hope you like it as much as I do. Honestly, I was surprised by how much detail she put into it, considering she even gave a cover uh, background when I didn't even ask for one. Thank you. Yes, there's been um, recent discussion on a debate that's occurred between EA and the government in regards to loot boxes, and of course loot box. And of course, EA said a few things which weren't exactly the best for them in their dis uh, debate. And one of them specifically, which has been pointed out quite a few times, it seems like it's it's illegal outright because everything you say and do towards the court is regarded as your official statement, especially when you're sitting down with them and talking to government officials. And whether it's written or verbal, it is accepted as such. And so it's a serious offence whenever you are caught lying to them or breaking what you said that you would do or whatever. So I'm going to get into that argument and break down each part of it, of course, very shortly. Long pause. Kind of like trying to cut into him. <clears throat> so that's what we refer to new speak. A lot of people have point cut into this, and she's not actually addressing the issue, which is why the other guy got annoyed and is like, whatever you want to call it, just address the you know just get back to top of it because she's trying to dodge or jump around the issue by saying it's not as bad because we've dubbed a new word for the, that whole process when they speak if you're not familiar with it you can look it up but i i'm going to try and avoid this bit as much as possible because a lot of the beginning of the argument or statement has already been thrown down like by other people like, jim sterling's the only one that i bothered watching because i don't watch the same these article played out like a dozen times like the same topic of news by how many different YouTubers it's just wasting my time. As the, the surprise mechanics. Um, but I think it's important to look at this. So uh, if, if you go to if you go to a uh, if I don't know what your version of Target is, but a, a store that sells trying to make a false equivalency to something else that you draw experience from, something that you try to because target is something that everyone has, so they're drawing from the main state crowd, someone that's less informed about the subject. So making a, a small connection. And the problem that I have with this is, as many people have pointed out with false equivalencies, it's like comparing apples and oranges. They're both round, yes, and they both grow from trees, yes. But when you bite into them, you realize they're different and they need to be handled differently. That's the problem. They enjoy it. We need to stop them from enjoying it too much. And it's not simply just, oh, they're getting entertainment from this. It's because they're becoming addicted to it because it's addictive in nature. That's why it's different from playing with a toy. And you're going to connect this to. Oh, I'll let them play it out. They've seen the videos. A lot of people have made videos where they show you that they are enjoying it quite a lot, quite a bit. Those people, you know, <clears throat> they are kind of feeding into that sort of problem where people are getting addicted. It's been pointed out many times before that, you know, that 
that is a problem because people get addicted to these things and because you can just recurrently spend money on this thing that's a large part of the issue because if it was just something that you enjoyed you bought and you played for one time there's one time purchase and there was no need to keep buying it again or even option to then it wouldn't be a problem and honestly just to human them for a minute this is only just making this isn't making me think oh loot boxes aren't as bad because kinder eggs there's nothing wrong with them no it drawing that connection just makes me think kinder eggs are entirely different hold on because they were actually made illegal in usa for quite a bit i don't know if they still are or what because it's a different country and they're not illegal here but they were made illegal there because unlike loot boxes they're physical objects so they present physical damage that can um be possessed from different people like choking hazards that's generally small things and it's hidden within the egg you don't know until you eat into it i mean you generally would know when you're buying it but the thing is you know kids are kids they 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 have a tendency to not be as smart depending on the age group depends on you know how knowledgeable and wise they would be to certain things but obviously the younger crowd wouldn't know that so they would just bite into it and swallow the food uh, with a toy inside of course so that's one potential hazard as well as if you got addicted to that unlike if you were to get addicted to video games which yes it does have uh, sorry addicted to um loot boxes which yes has it many ups and downs that are different to that such as the effect that it has on your sleeping pattern and how you absorb light for instance being in a dark room and not having eyes adjusted to outside whereas being addicted to that will change things like your blood blood sugar intake and and give you diabetes potentially and many others so they're two different entirely different situations which need to be handled differently we're not saying that there's nothing wrong with kinder we're saying this is the topic that we're talking about now and we need to address it now this way it's entirely separate and out of the jurisdiction of the current issue we're talking about so it has no relevance to the topic at hand They weren't able to find this gambling. Australia is actually looking into proving that it is gambling. They've been over it multiple times. They've had actual debates with EA multiple times saying that this is actually gambling, but they haven't been able to come conclusively with it in the courtroom because you know legal definitions don't match up and legal definitions are things that are outdated things that need to be updated regularly so of course they're going to say it's not gambling because the law hasn't adjusted to it yet to the dictionary definition that's why we're having this whole thing to just define change that definition to see if it's right to change that definition She looked pretty fucking scared. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Can we just pull that back? I should just. <laughs> I like how he doesn't say you're right about that or you're right you know like doesn't actually refer to anything that she said for in defense all they were checking was to confirm that's their actual statement because now that they've proposed that to them that's now saying these are surprise mechanics not loot boxes because they are like this she, she's laughing like she's already gotten away with us perfect time to pause it like, yeah that's fucking evil yeah but um they're now giving what is an official, a verbal statement to the parlo UK Parliament. So if they lie to the um, Parliament or they're, they're found um, any contradictions to their statement, they have now committed a serious offence to them. Now, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not too versed on law, politics or what, what have you, but I'm pretty sure that's how it fucking goes. Because they're state officials.
So, so you, you create D, and that's doesn't seem like a good move, but all right, let's swing with it. She she seemed like she was above him, like, <laughs> like yeah, I'm above you, like you know, snickering to herself almost. She almost seems proud of a statement and an argument. She's been rehearsing, I, I swear. That's probably why she's happy, because she's like, yes, I nailed it, just like how I planned it. <laughs> so, sorry for the hoodie and stuff, it's cold. I gotta hear it. <laughs> she calls out a loot box minutes later. I mean, I know she's trying to kind of respond to him. That is not directly her saying, it is a loot box, it's, but like referring. <laughs> You're just showing how irrelevant it is that you've dubbed a new name on it. It's like, no one's getting fooled by this. You've tried it like a thousand times. You're using the same gimmicks over and over again of avoiding the issue. Good job, EA. You have no qualms with it being implemented in a wrong way. Hang on, is that what she actually said? Or with them being implemented in the wrong way. You, you're not saying that not implemented in the wrong way, you're saying you have no qualms with it. So they are implemented improperly in your games? I feel like, yeah, I feel like he's a bit out of touch. Maybe he just mm, has to think about it a bit. Yeah, because he, all these politicians, they're, they're not gamers themselves. They're obviously pulling from people that talk to them, so. Yeah, with people talking to them, like, we need this, whatever. I've talked about this before. Belgium and Netherlands have overruled that they were illegal. They gave them warning. And he even tried to protest, saying, no, they're not illegal. We'd not stand for this. And I was, at which launched another investigation as to whether EA is actually breaking the law because they made such a public statement against it. I don't understand why they also asked for the people to stand in and vote against it in support of loot boxes. Like, they, they have such a bizarre look that I'm actually starting to think they believe their own bullshit for a minute, that, like, people only play those games for the loot boxes. But their people don't. They're, they're very tight on gambling, yes. Everything that is gambling is illegal, yes. Unlike the US, they don't earn a large bit of profit from their gambling, so they can be tighter on it. Whereas in the US, they, they kind of need it for their, their profit margin, so they just make things safer for the people, even though they're still legally allowed. You just have to get the regulations in place to say, for instance, you need the license to be able to, um, get like, you know, sell gambling or whatever. And you have to be of age to actually gamble with a proof of identification for yourself, stuff like that. It seems a bit insulting how you're saying this. I'm not sure if you're familiar with their views. <laughs> well, yeah, we've already said that three times now. Get to the point. It, <laughs> just 
trying to insult your opposition is it, it's not it's not a good look. Oh, that's a bit of sass. Just like I fucking I hated those people. So disagreed with them, but they still did it anyway. Because it's like any gambling is illegal there. So if it's found to be gambling, it's illegal. And they both did it at the exact same time. They both agreed to it. They didn't actually talk about those circumstances that made it there, which is actually addressing his point. You, you kind of just avoided it by saying the same thing like three times over. <laughs> <laughs> now that was for CSGO that's not quite it was literally just for being gambling so it was even less than that it was like that is just the piece of the cake that really fucked things up like that that's that might have been what started the the investigations, because that's the stuff that stopped the Cisco betting, skin betting a long time ago. I mean, you know, originally that wasn't, it was the, the fact that they didn't disclose the YouTubers that they were connected to, like T Martin or whatever. And then they were able to get into the site afterwards. But the, it's a long story, that one. This, this woman's very bitchy, holy fuck. What has this been going on behind the scenes with this woman? <laughs> Would you like me to pull up a book? <laughs> All the laws that we'd be able to avoid and get rid of? Like, fucking hell. The fucking hell, she would make such a good outraged YouTuber because like, she's so insulting to everyone. She fucking, holy fuck, I hate this woman. Don't lean in like that. Yeah. I I just said that I I have watched a bit of this, mind you, beforehand. I haven't watched a full thing, but yeah, that that doesn't seem like a strong defense in your argument. I I guess that's why they tried to get the new um new speak the the redubbing of the word because they probably uh, remember this bit and they're just like mm, well we can't really win this bit because it is actually defined as gambling in other countries you know and, and the definition for the word isn't that different legally speaking it is different in other countries by a mile but you know speaking dictionary definition is barely any different at all Yeah, because trading is a form of um, tangible, you, you're giving tangible goods, it doesn't matter if it's money or otherwise. So that's why whether it's paid or unpaid, it doesn't matter. And even though I think she's referring to paid or unpaid being whether you can cash out, which is different than paid or unpaid loot boxes, because that's you giving money for that loot boxes, which makes it a digital good that you, you're paying for, you're receiving, so there is a trade there. It doesn't always have to be money for it to be gambling. Just something of tangible value. My God, this is so insulting. It's like she's talking to, trying to explain something to a fucking retard that's asked her like a thousand times. What does this mean? And she's like, okay, let me walk you through the steps. Here's step one, step two, uh, uh, uh. Step three. Uh, uh, uh. Like, fuck. Someone needs to stop that bitch. So she's like, it was just a regularity. This would never happen. It's like, just shut the fuck up. You lost the, you lost the argument. Just about every time there's a serious debate between the government and the gaming industry, they actually lose. A lot of people think they win, but the thing is, 
back when there was a big talk of when the ESRB was formed, that was actually formed after they had already lost the debate. This is going to be a bitch to word out. Sorry about that, other people in the house. They actually lost the debate with, um, what's his name? Uh, Liberal Chairman or something. The, the guy was, that was like in that GTA in Postal 2. But yeah, see, he had ruled that you need to work, Sony and Nintendo, because they were the two companies at the time, um, need to work together, or no, sorry, Sega and Nintendo work together to form some sort of um, your own way of regulating and governing what is um, inappropriate content for kids and isn't. And they obviously eventually ended up doing that. But, I mean, back then, only person that was good in a courtroom was Nintendo. They were the only persons that were versed in law properly. But, you know, they, they've they lost model weather suits at, at the time. It's generally that the government just simply gives up or just drops a case or whatever, loses interest. Like, that's generally why the game industry usually wins court cases. Even though I wouldn't call that a win, I'd call that a dropped case. <laughs> yeah, those reasons being that they gambling. Like people have, I, so many people already, including myself, many times have put in it just how loot boxes are gambling. I mean, it doesn't take a genius to look at a loot box and see the underlining uh, mechanics of a loot box and how they function, how they work, to see that they are, in fact, gambling. But the law, they simply just, the current definitions don't match up to what they are, which... <sighs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up repeating myself like this woman if I keep going with these. So VPNs. Hmm. Maybe she doesn't know what a VPN is. <laughs> she needs someone to to do the one, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh, two, ah uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, cryptocurrency. Th thanks for, you know, pointing out how the, the trade is made, like how a casino has tokens for the slot machines. But I don't want to make the correlation that between the two things and say they are one in the same. very bare essentials, kind of lazy, I'd say. Yeah, I would have figured instead of, you know, talking about what you have done with a game in terms of, you know, how that would make it a worse game or a better or whatever, you would probably be talking about how you keep track of certain profiles and certain IPs and all that to be able to find out is this the same person when when they register your game when they log in online and so forth you can say you can see like oh this is the same you know credit card details or this is the same account that they were 
you, you know the same console that's that was using it before like the xbox 360 had a subtle idea of doing it with a little um bubble line effect under your avatar in in the dashboard there should be morse code I know she stuttered, stuttered when she was saying that for a minute. I mean, you know, these things happen in long courtroom cases. This one's like two and a half hours, as you can see, just under four, two and two hours and forty minutes there. So it's it's not too unusual. But <laughs> I'm just gonna take the piss out of everything again, really. I'm just gonna do a couple of these full screen inserts here where I'm doing it post editing to address a couple issues that I forgot to but in this point she doesn't actually I like how she doesn't actually say yes or no to the question she just kind of says how her game still has the mechanics present in the game meaning that if they did actually register in a different country with a VPN they could actually still do it because it's all still present in the game over there I, I, I really like how she she kind of says that but doesn't actually say yes or no to the question she she's just subtly saying yeah we we were dumb enough to not actually fix anything with that issue because you know they, they're earning money from us so of course they want people to, to be doing that to, to actually be fucking over the system so they can still be giving them money because they, they just want to comply with the law and on that part they are seemingly complying with the law I like how you say is you saying okay that's that's essentially what conclusion you're drawing up yourself from what you said that's that's fucking hilarious because because how she's worded her argument in response to how the Netherlands and Belgium actually responded to the whole loot boxes are a gambling thing. <laughs> uh, I, I like this guy. He's, he's kind of just you know, doing his job, it seems like, but very, very simple, very direct. Broad mischaracterization. You're saying that he's being too vague now. So, so you're trying to play the bit that you're so smart and you're able to get so technical and get into the nitty gritty details of it all with your statement, with the, with the words that you said. I mean, you haven't really given that, that many specific details apart from the, the process of how they became illegal. You're saying that his being too vague, yeah, you you being EA, have given a new speak which categorizes something so broad, something so wide and vague that you categorize that loot boxes are the same as fucking kinder eggs, kinder surprises. Come on, don't, doesn't that seem a little double standards -y to you? At the last minute, you had like about six weeks or so. I think it was a bit longer. And you were very adamantly against it for a long time, which is obviously connecting to this argument that you've been making here, which I just downright find insulting. And at the very last minute on the final day, just like Valve did, is when you decided to cave in and end up changing the loot boxes like turning them off or as you say turning off the credits that you can give to the loot boxes in in exchange for the loot boxes so you can't actually buy them you only earn them in game through par pride and accomplishment fucking tosses So 
he's still trying to get the law changed. You salty bitches. You fucking salty bitches. And I hope they never fucking do. I don't think they're gonna overrule it anytime fucking soon. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything to that. I'm just going to have that. Leave that as is and just let it exist. <laughs> Did he say? I'm not sure he does. Hang on. <laughs> He's getting annoyed too. He's just like, I know you're fucking around with me, but whatever the fuck you want to call it, we've got to address this point to get past this, this discussion. finishes that I am annoyed so much with how misinformed people are with this that they keep thinking Fortnite doesn't fucking have this I made a whole video showing how they do I can't remember how old it was and what I featured in it if I actually showed the part of it or if it was just that screenshot that I was able to get because I don't actually have save the world but if you play the save the world game mode not the battle royale the save the mode game Save the World game mode, which was the original form of Fortnite, the only form of Fortnite before Battle Royale, and isn't accessible on mobile or Switch, the later ports of the game, because that no one plays it pretty much. The only reason people play it is for the V-Bucks, right? Which is essentially just virtual dollars. <laughs> the same, same thing they were using before, the same thing that was disabled to make gambling cut off in Belgium and the Netherlands, right? That is accessible in the form of pinatas in Fortnite Save the World. Is how you get new gears, new crafting material, and much, much more. There is a rarity system to it too, so that's worthwhile keeping in mind as well. Um. I, I wish someone here actually knew more about the game to point out how fucking full of, like, he looks like a new guy, like a, a lost fucking kid in a supermarket that's kind of just filling in for their mother or something, you know, like, they don't know what they're talking about, they're, they're relatively new to the topic, they only have a base level understanding of it, which is what I thought the woman would give, she's clearly been around for a while, even though she doesn't seem well hurst in this sort of stuff like a fucking moron in other words but you know true they do try to stop it they are against it officially a lot of people have been saying that they do actually have certain 
they don't actually have enough in place to actually stop it that they are actually receiving funds for the trading that that's technically true for certain games on steam but i don't believe that's true for ea i, I don't know i don't play ea games so i'm actually at a disadvantage for the information relating to that part of the argument but i thought for a minute he was still asking the guy from epic games in which case no that's that's not even much of a thing i, mean, I haven't ever heard of it if it is So in other words, you just created a red herring to avoid that issue. Red herrings are, of course, where you essentially just bring up another point where something is very bad. That's like a more extreme version of something that's occurring in your current argument or debate for your point that someone brings up in contradiction to your point and you say, well, this is worse, so therefore my my issue, my po the issue with my point doesn't exist. That's that's not how things work, buddy. But anyway. Support how? Do you just mean in your feelings, your emotions? Because that's not actual form of support. You know, like in, in terms of like, we give them money or we actually help them with, you know, stuff that we have like moderation tools on our games to help them navigate the system to find them easier. What do you mean? Okay, so he is asking. Well, I can't tell you all the technical measures we have in our game. What, because you don't know? Or is it too private you've signed an NDA? Because, <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure you would be able to tell them, right? I mean, it's a UK parliament. It's not like you're, you're telling some fucking interviewer at a fucking, um, at like Eurogamer or some shit or IGN. People went to jail, huh? Hmm. I feel like that would have broken some headlines. And I've been sticking pretty hard to this loot box news for the last, like, two years. Hmm. I don't know, someone can look into that for me. I felt your answers were very evasive when you coached that. <laughs> that's exactly what I've been saying. That I wonder how she's going to respond to this. I don't know if that is something that you can really... Like, does, does that really matter for court? Like, shouldn't you actually, you know, look into how to train yourself and shit, you know? I mean, mm. didn't, didn't think, you know, it would be something they'd bring up, huh? if it's related to the court. Yeah, because you, you should be able to, like, fucking rehearse in front of a mirror or talk to someone with your case, shouldn't you? Unless, unless it's like an NDA. I mean, this is a publicly viewable call case, so it shouldn't be one that you have to worry about showing to the public beforehand. This is funny, because this is Epic Games, so... Hmm. 
I wanted to, yeah, I, I wish I brought that to the EA games to respond to that, because I, hmm, surprised I did. Because I seem very fucking new. Uh, I know you can disable the censored wording, and you can mute other players, but... Um, I'm not sure if this is going on to loot box, I might end up cutting the video here if it's not. Because I, would, I do just want to cover the loot boxes thing, because it's too long and it's already going to be a pain in the ass to edit. Especially with loud mouth in the other room. But... Mm, I just really... Mm, yeah, that's a topic for a different time. I don't know if I'll get into those um, other points, um, the rest of the argument, because it does seem like it covers other stuff that would be interesting to talk about, but, you know, people, people don't watch videos the longer they are, so I'll try to keep it all as short as I can, as entertaining as I can, but mm, that was quite interesting. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy- Bullet face! Not asking much! Thank you! Suicide.